Everything is. All of our game menu graphics are amazing <laughs> because we've now got a, a piece of hardware that can cope with the graphics. Yeah. But it's not just that; it's the learning curve allows this flexibility. Whereas AAC lives within very strict yeah. sort of guidelines. Like a communication grid looks like this. Yeah. Whereas games, we can make them look how we want. And this is what's going to engage the kids. The kids need to, they need to be engaged first and then become AAC users later. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. But look, this shows that I was right side dominant here. I was right side dominant. Why wasn't I looking over the left of the screen? Now, what you'd say is, I only played it for 10 seconds. Uh, so let's go for a longer session and see if we can encourage some movement onto the left. So that is so bad for, yeah. for a focus. So that's the balls in the net, view the graph. And as you can see, my eye movement was from left to right. I tracked the balls down as they as I looked at them. I looked at all three areas pretty equally. So yeah, great. Okay, let's try a different game. Uh, let's try uh, this one. static. So these are relatively easy to hit, but to lock on one is much harder. So to lock, to lock a thing on, So I'm waiting for the moving one to come back in, and locking on a moving target is much harder. But I had a good go at it there. I'm now locking these off, and here. And I'm waiting for the moving one. All right, here we go. I'll give him a chance to come in. Right, and go to the moving one and track him. Go on, go on, see if I can track him well enough. Yeah, I got him right at the end.